What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with another sports card video. Panini Prism Cello Packs are the worst thing that's happened to this hobby in a long time. I wish I had one on me, but I don't. So here's a picture of one. You can find these at your local retail stores. Walmart, Target are the two main ones. I know CVS, Walgreens. I mean, those are pretty much the only ones I know of in Arizona that carry these. I know in other states it might be different. You might have different stores that carry cards. But Target and Walmart are the main ones where you're going to find these. So in the past, what these are, and they've switched them up a little bit this year, and I'll explain that. In the past, it's usually like, you know, a, th a pack of packs. And there's usually like three retail packs in there, plus one exclusive pack, which is usually like red, white, and blue parallels is this year they give you one 12 card pack and then an additional pack with red white and blue typically you get three red white and blue cards plus one green which is an exclusive to this pack plus usually like one silver so that's typically what you're looking for in these and a lot of people love these a lot of people like them because they're usually cheaper you know you can get your base cards you can get a silver almost every pack it's a good opportunity to pull silvers actually and then those exclusive red white and blues and greens it's the only way you can get those so some people really like these but what you don't know and what i found out just recently that there's an unlimited supply of these packs if panini chooses so and i'm gonna get into that in just a minute so what does that mean if there's zero numbered cards in these products panini can print these whenever they want and you know in past years, I've I've known this. Like I I've known this is a thing that there's zero numbered cards, so they could do this. I never really thought of it though until someone brought it to my attention just recently. So about probably two to three months ago, I was at my local card shop, and you know, 2019 Prism with Zion, you know, it was the popular thing still. There was still Prism cellos in the card shop, even though they've been out for a while up to this point, and I was like. It's kind of weird like you thought you would think those were all out of stock by now and and i asked my car shop owner i was like hey like i can't believe those are still in stock with how popular nba is how is that possible and he goes ryan they reprint these things and i was like wait what and he goes yeah ryan these things were out of stock months ago like these were out of stock nowhere to be found and then my distributor tells me he has 500 more cases of it that got me thinking i was like that makes so much sense because there's zero numbered cards. The greens aren't numbered. The base cards obviously aren't numbered and the silvers aren't numbered. So for as long as Panini wants, they can reprint these products. And I heard it's very popular Pokemon too. He was telling me that like 2018 Pokemon was still being printed because there's no numbered cards. So that's absolutely crazy to me. Apparently they're like the founders of it, Pokemon. And it just makes a lot of sense. And it's terrible for our hobby, you guys. I'm going to go through. I'm going to talk some pop reports. I'm just going to show you guys how high these pop reports are getting on these Prism cards. And it's all because of these cellos. I mean, when a product comes out, yes, Panini is overproducing it now. Like, for sure, print runs are going up. But these are everywhere. You see pictures everywhere of these cello packs. I saw a picture recently posted of... A target that got restocked and there's probably a hundred of these cello packs there i was like okay first of all my target i've seen like five at a time like that's ridiculous second of all holy cow if one target's getting these i can't even imagine how many of these cello packs are out there so let's talk pop reports and since 2021 prism isn't in psa's population report just yet and there's just hasn't been out long enough to really have a great deal of data though we do know the the numbers are going to be crazy. The prices of PSA submissions might slow down a little bit, but we're going to compare 2018 basketball to 2019. So Luca versus Zion. And then I'm also going to compare 2019 football to 2020 football between Kyler and Justin Herbert. Just to show you guys where these pop reports are at and these base cards are getting out of control. All right. So we have the 2018 Luka Doncic Prism PSA 10. You know, this is probably the most popular card for basketball in, I don't know, the last decade. Like, Luca's a special player. Everyone knows and thinks that he's going to be running the league in, like, a couple years just because he's that good. And I'll give it to him. Luca's a fantastic player. But in 2018, 
these were not overproduced with these cello packs and the pop report was still massive so the pop report 15,000 PSA 10s, 25,000 total have been graded from 28 Prism. And this was before the sports card hobby even got popular. I remember in 2018, these were sitting on shelves, you guys. Hobby shops couldn't sell them. Retail, they were sitting everywhere. And I just think about it on a daily basis. Like, I probably have seen 100 of these blasters and cello packs just laying out in Target and Walmarts over months of time. Like, this is before the, the hobby got popular. So even before it gets popular, 25,000 pop report. And then we go to the Zion, 2019, so next year. So two biggest players, obviously Zion being the number one overall draft pick in 2019. Crazy pop report. Very similar to Luka, you guys. 14,000 PSA 10s, 25,800. So there's already more Zions graded than Luka. And with the backup at PSA, I'm sure there's thousands of more at PSA right now. The quality control has gotten worse. I'll say that. So that's like their sort of way of controlling the pop reports because if you look at this, it's almost 60% PSA 10s. And that's even pretty low, to be honest, for what 2018 quality was. Like, it could have been a lot higher than that. But then here, it's already, it's like under 55%. So you have 10,000, almost 11,000 PSA 9s. But what I'm getting at is Zion's already surpassed Luka. And then when we compare the silvers, so in those cello packs, you get the silvers too. And that's what everyone's hunting for. Silver, silver, silver. Silvers are the name of the game these days for basketball. Like everyone wants silvers because they are attainable per rip. Like it's not out of the realm of possibility that you could pull these cards. I actually picked out a hobby pack last year for my buddy Brad at my card shop and he pulled the Zion silver out of it. I wish I would have bought it myself, but you know, it happens. But it is possible to pull these silvers, especially with those cellos having one per pack. In 2018, we have about a 4,000 pop report with just under 2,000 PSA 10s. And then we come to Zion, and you know, it hasn't caught Luca just yet, but it's already at 3,000. We have 1,700 PSA 9s, only 1,000 PSA 10s. So the quality control is terrible. I'll give them that. They are controlling the pop report based off quality control, but... Again, you guys, with PSA's backup, there's a oh, there's supposedly 10 million cards at PSA. I can't even imagine what these pop reports are going to be like in just a few months. And then we're going to compare football. And honestly, I know football's not as popular as basketball, but it's popular. And football, honestly, it might even be worse because of how popular the sport has gotten in the year 2020. So we have 2019 Kyler Murray, Panini Prism, you know. Super popular, number one draft pick in 2019. This is just the base prism, you guys. There's only 3,500 graded. Like, that's the number one draft pick in 2019. I'm sure this pop report's still going to go up, but at this point, this product's been out for a while. So it'll go up, but it will go up slowly. And then we have Justin Herbert. And again, this product's so new that sell the peak, they don't even really have the, the pop report in the system because it's still so new to PSA. Not many of them have come back. But check this out. So we we're looking at 3,500 graded. We're already at 2,600 for Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert's almost already surpassed Kyler Murray. And this product's been out for just a few months. And it's still getting ripped on breakers channels and everywhere. You still find this in retail stores. Like I'm seeing people find this stuff still in retail stores because of these cellos. Because like I saw someone post the other day, they had a whole trunk full of this stuff. And it was just cellos. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is getting out of hand. So... I can't even fathom what this pop report's going to be. I'm going to guess where Kyler's at at 3,500. I'm guessing this is going to be over 10,000. Like, that's my guess because, again, only a few of these Herberts have started coming back comparison to how many are out there, probably how many are at PSA currently. YouTube, this is a crazy thing to wrap your mind around. And when it was brought to my attention, I was kind of mind blown. I, like... It makes sense that it's possible because there's no numbered cards, but you, you would never think that someone would do it. And it just goes to show you that this is what's happening. We're going to see so many of these cellos this year for NBA Prism. Just watch. They're going to stay around forever. 2019 Prism with Zion stayed around for like a year. You guys know how popular NBA is. Like normal releases, these this stuff's gone. Like within a week, you, like, you see retail products. In, they come in and out of stock. I don't know what, like a couple weeks, two, three, within a month, like it's gone. 
not with Prism, not with these cellos because they can keep on printing them and keep on making money. And something I haven't touched on really is the flippers love it. The flippers love it. You know, I am not one to completely hate on flipping. It, you know, it sucks because I haven't found any of this. I found Prism Football one time when it first came out. I got lucky. And I got like two blasters of it. But outside of that, I haven't found anything in retail because of these flippers are lining up th out the door. And people are paying premiums for these cello packs that just keep on coming out, you guys. Like, come on now. We need to get smarter. Like, if I pull this most recent one up right now. These are going for $43 to $65. Between $45 and $65. That's crazy. These are 10 bucks. So this is just something for you guys to think about. Honestly, I just I felt like it needs to be put out there because, you know, I don't want to say it's ruining the hobby, but it's definitely boosting pop reports. It's definitely making cards less rare. It's definitely hurting future projections on these cards with these insane pop reports like i am totally fine to collecting a card that has like a ten thousand pop report like i'm fine with that but you see these cards that haven't even been out for a year barely and they're already at fifteen thousand with a psa backlog of 10 million supposedly like that zion prism i think we're probably gonna see it. it's probably gonna like right now it's at 25k total I bet you it gets up to like 40. Like it might get to 40. It might get to 50. Who knows? It's it's hard to think about because that's when you really like, oh man, like this this kind of is junk wax. So you guys know me. I mostly collect baseball, but I do love football and basketball as much as the next guy. I just can't afford it. This is actually part of the reason as to why I don't collect these as much because they're just not rare. They're just not. Like I'm not going to pay $200 for a base Justin Herbert card that, you know, they're still printing. It's still in retail stores, even though it's been out for months. I'm just not going to do it. Like, you're going to keep seeing the prices come down on those cards. Like, it's going to take a while for those to go up. And you even see that with Zion. Like, Zion's having a crazy, crazy year. Like, his like his numbers are insane this year. Like, he's having just a phenomenal season. Like, like, one of the best full first years we've ever seen. Like, Zion's having a crazy year, and you can still pick up his PSA 10 for like $700 compared to Luca's, who's like double. So Zion's cards are barely moving. He's playing phenomenal. I just, I think this is part of it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Just something I wanted to put out there. Like, that is it. Bring it to your attention. Maybe people will stop buying from the flippers because this stuff's just not rare anymore. It's, yeah, I know you, you can't find it anywhere because all the flippers are buying it. I'm seeing pictures still of trunks full of of cards and i mean good for those people who are making a living doing it but this stuff's not rare anymore it's not rare and especially with prism these cello packs are getting reprinted they can print these to the end of time and you will never know because they're just going to keep coming out keep coming out but i will remind you any other year a big release like We'll, we'll use Bowman because I'm a baseball guy. Bowman, you know, the print runs have gone up. But Bowman retail, you guys, I bet you we see it in stores for a month and it's gone forever. It shows that they're reprinting them. I want to bring it to your attention. Let me know in the comments what you think of this. Did you know this was happening? How do you feel about it? Is this good? Is it bad? I just want to know your thoughts in the comments below. I just felt like it's important that I brought this to your attention today. But yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. You all have a great rest of your day. See ya.